As I mentioned previously, we're going to take a look at the user interface here and navigate around uh, Business Center. So starting at the very top, you'll see that we've got some icons that are what is known as our quick access toolbar. Then we have a series of tabs or what are known as ribbons that have commands that we will also access. Down below, you have a couple different panels as well. Over here to the left, typically you have initially a what's called a project explorer. You'll see this more as we start our project. It'll start listing some of the features and objects within our project. You'll be able to see those here. This main section or this start page is where your plan view will eventually show and where you'll do most of your reviewing, editing, and operation. Over to the right here on our start page, you'll see that there's some notifications. And this gives you some news and some tips and tricks. And it's a continuously updated thread. So a lot of uh, new information that you'll be able to get from this location. So what we'll do now is I want to set up Business Center to make it a little bit easier to navigate. And it's typically what I would do when I first start uh, Trimble Business Center. So what we're gonna do is go to the support tab and I'm gonna go to options. And under options, you'll see that there's a lot of options. We're not gonna go through all these options in this particular course. We'll cover those in other courses, um, depending on what our needs are. But one of the things that we do wanna do here is most of this stuff by default is fine. We just want to click on this use large icons for the quick access toolbar. Um, if you've got a high resolution screen and, you know, these are very small or, you know, they're, they're legible to you, that's fine. A lot of times, a lot of our users like to see larger icons. So I'm going to click on use large icons for quick access toolbar. Then I'm going to go ahead and click, um, okay. Now, another thing you can do, you can see the, the toolbars up top are, are a lot larger. I can come over to the end and I can customize this toolbar. I can move it below the ribbon. So if you want to see the icon or toolbar down here, I like to keep it at the top. So I'm just going to go ahead and show above the ribbon. Um, you can come in here and you can turn off uh, some of these commands. Um, you can turn on some other commands. Um, we'll get into customizing the menus and stuff again in other courses. We're just going to keep it very simple, very basic for this particular course. The other thing that I like to do is turn on, along with my Project Explorer, I want to turn on my View Filter Manager. The View Filter Manager will then show up over here where you'll see I have two tabs now. I have a Project Explorer and I have a View Filter Manager. And I can expand and change the size of this window or these windows by dragging this, as well as if I want to, I can pin it so that it actually shows up over here to the left. And as I move my cursor away, it hides that screen, giving me a little bit more real estate in my, my working area. Um, if I come back over here and unpin it, you'll see that it shows here and here. The other thing that I like to turn on is my properties. So when I click on the properties, when you first launch Business Center, this properties window, which you can see here that I can actually drag out and float, and I can dock. So by Holding the top header here, I can drag and you can see, depending on how my box is displayed, is where I'm going to dock that. So I'm just going to move my cursor just to the left so that it docks. And then I can also take the tab and I can drag this tab out. So now you can see that I've got the Project Explorer and the View Filter Manager here. In my Properties window, I can move around as well. So if I toggle this off, and then toggle it back on, you'll see the properties windows reappears. And we're gonna use that in this particular course. So I like to dock it and I'm just gonna come over here and I'm just gonna put my cursor so it touches that header up here. And you can see that the icon kind of, or the window rectangle there kind of locks in. So I'm gonna left click on that. And now it basically gives me the three tabs where I got properties, project explorer, and the view filter manager. And we're gonna cover these in more detail here in, in the future, uh, future videos.